Hello, this is King Zombies here, playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Today, we're going to be working on Cosmos' uh, affinity chart, specifically her quest and heart uh, heart. We'll see how much more we do. Something matters, Zeke? Take a look over there. Something's clearly not right. Oh, there's a lot of them. Those are artificial blades. So many, too. Why they all gathered here? I can identify no regular pattern to their movements. Most likely their command systems are no longer functional. They don't have to any orders, but they're just gathering here on their own? Is that even possible? Is this kind of some kind of a reserve state? Perhaps not quite so simple, but that understanding will suffice. Initializing simulation. The search of the area indicates that a total of 67 artificial blades are active nearby. If we leave the situation unaddressed, it's highly likely that more artificial blades shall emerge. Considering all available options, the most prudent course of action would be to eliminate them all right now. You want us to fight those thing these things? All of them? Are you crazy? Cosmos is right, though. There's no telling what might happen if we just leave them like this. We should scrap them before they cause any harm. Hey, Cosmos. Do you think we can actually beat all these things? It is possible. With this number of enemies, the probability of our complete defeat is under 12%. Hold on. That doesn't sound like a sure thing. It is difficult to predict what may happen during combat. Like everyone getting knocked off the edge. This probability seems within the bounds of acceptable risk for combat-related activity. I'm scarily calm about this stuff. You know that. The more blades enter a berserk state, the higher the risk will become. Please give the order to commence combat as soon as possible. Alright, let's do this then. Here goes nothing. Confirming increase of enemy activity. Awaiting permission to continue combat. No, it's no good. We'll never get through them all. Cosmos, it seems best to withdraw and regroup for now. If we withdraw now, we risk major damage to multiple locations. Total annihilation of hostile units would be optimum at present. Girl, there are too many of them. That's pretty clear. Yeah, mess up, and we're the ones who are going to get annihilated. There should be no problem. All allies, please move away from me for a moment. Scanning for enemy targets. Locked on to all hostile unit signatures in World Tree vicinity. Releasing safety lock. Cosmos? Face switch ordinance activated. Confirming 75% reduction of enemy capability. Initiating neutralization of remaining enemy capability. Rex, is something wrong? Uh, no. Go ahead. Initiate, um, neutralization. Ninety-two percent of enemy forces neutralized. Remaining enemy forces incapable of proceeding with combat. Any risk of reinforcements? A search of the area reveals no sign of new units emerging. Incredible. We really take out all these enemies? You say we. Mostly it was down to that crazy power of Cosmos's. It really was crazy powerful. I've never seen anything like it. 
and merely selected the optimal course of action after analyzing all alternatives. Was my solution excessive? No, you did fine. Yeah, if it weren't for you, we'd never have beaten that lot. Thank you so much, or very much. That attack you used, though, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if it was detected in neighboring countries. Yeah, I reckon that light will have been visible from Tanto and Mordane at least. Yeah, they're all close to us. They can all see us, kind of. Or we can see them, at least. Um, so have we accidentally caused a bit of international commotion? National leaders may need to be warned about these artificial blades as well. Perhaps our next course of action should be to report in to King Eulogenes. <laughs> How do we pronounce that? Yeah, I'd better explain ourselves and clear up any misunderstandings. My old man get pretty antsy, touch the Tearsword Palace, and set his mind at ease. Support systems upgraded. Oh, right, I should have done this to start with. Ah, it doesn't matter, I guess. I'm not going to be doing that right now, anyways. I see. Then the light that was reported coming from the World Tree was an attack performed by this blade. It's quite difficult to believe that a single blade could produce such remarkable levels of energy. You got that right. I saw it myself, and I still had trouble believing it. There's so many of our blades that can do similar stuff. Or are similarly, like, very strong in just different ways. But it's the truth. Were it not for Cosmos' attack, we would have been defeated by those rogue artificial blades. Hmm. Well, as long as you have that power safely in control, I suppose it is not a problem. Thank you for your explanation. Regarding the artificial blades, they are indeed a worrying development. They are capable of flight, yes. It seems difficult to guarantee that they will remain on the world tree. There's a very real possibility that berserk artificial blades could end up descending upon nation nearby nations. True enough. I'll make use of the Tantel military and strengthen surveillance around the world tree. I'm most grateful for your wise decision, your majesty. However, I feel we will need the cooperation of the other nations in this matter. What say you, Lady Morag? Would you lend me your aid in this? But of course. I will report this incident to Mordain, and advise His Majesty the Emperor to take suitable prevention, pre pre preventive action. In my thanks, Lady Morag. I leave the Emperor to you, then. Ah, uh, yes. One more thing. There's a request I would like to make of all of you all. Request? What's all this about, then? Enter, please. Who's that? Someone you know, Showhead? Hmm. Can't say I rec recognize her. It's a pleasure to e meet you, Uncle. My name is Astel. <laughs> Hope we will get we will get along. Uh, Uncle, what's going on here, pops? It's your young late. This young lady is the daughter of your cousin. It is perhaps no surprise that you are not aware of her existence. She was born after you left this country, after all. Strictly speaking, that makes us first cousins once removed. Hope you don't mind me addressing you as Uncle. Uh, I don't know what I meant, really meant to do with a niece or cousin or whatever you are. <laughs> well, well, well. Isn't this the sweetest little family reunion, uncle? Shut up, you. Despite her youth, Astel is something of a prodigy who has read all of the books in the Theosphar Library. There's millions of books! <laughs> That's ridiculous to say that she's done that. <laughs> the previous quest said there was millions of books. I fear she may have begun to grow tired of living cooped up in here in Tanto. She is quite the spirited young lady. Most recently, she expressed a desire to explore the land of Mortha. Oh. Really? Of course, I told her I could not possibly allow such a dangerous outing. Yeah, it's really hard to get back. You have to climb back up the world tree. <laughs> but now she is insist instead insisting on visiting all the other nations of all rest before they sink entirely. I believe it is you who said I would do well to see the world, Your Majesty. I'm simply trying to live up to your expectations. You see what I have to deal with? I don't know where she gets this willful nature from, but once she gets such her mind on something, there's no changing it. As such, while I must apologize for the trouble, might I ask you to take her with you on your trip to Moradain? Take this girl with us on some international tour? We're not just traveling for the fun of it, you know. I'm quite aware of that. Thank you very much. But you needn't worry about me. I won't cause any trouble. In fact, I might be able to assist you in some way, Uncle. Enough with the Uncle thing. Can't, can't I at least be 
like a big brother or something. Oh, if you insist, let's have a lovely trip together, big bro. Oh, Shahad, I didn't know you were into that. Um, my prince, forgive me for saying so, but you're creeping me out a little. Oh, for the... Hey, what's your name? I'm Cosmos. Cosmos? That's a funny so short sort of name. You're a blade, aren't you? Yes. That's a pretty unusual body you got there. It's almost like you're part machine. Are the machine parts and human parts connected somehow? Do you have some kind of problem with my body? Problem? No, no problem. Hey, would you mind if I tinkered around with the bits inside? I cannot permit that. Even if my master were to order me directly, I could not comply. I thought you might say that. A shame, a shame. Oh well, it's going to be a pleasure traveling with you, Cosmos. Look forward to it, Astel. Shall we leave at once, then? Come on, big bro. You lead the way. Ugh. What are you making that look for, big bro? We're leaving you behind, big bro. We all give it a rest already. Artificial blades. Just what we need. Zeke, help with Estelle's safe withdrawal. No sweat! Locking on to surrounding enemies. Making ballistic calculations. Minimizing damage to urban area. Wonderful! Oh, what a sight! Sincere apologies. I was unable to completely annihilate the enemies. No, that's plenty. We got the rest. You really are incredible, Cosmos. Tell me, where did you get all that power from? What's the energy source? How do you replenish it? Can you control the output level? Doesn't it put any strain on your organic components? Apologies, Astel. I cannot answer those questions. What? Why not? There's no reason to divulge such information to anyone other than my driver. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so stingy. You could tell me just a little. Sorry, but no. Not even if I say pretty please? Not even then. I see. <laughs> you really are a funny one, you know that? Hey, could I have a feel of those clothes of yours and stuff? Yes, that should not be a problem. Really? Nice. I see. So that's how they're made. Hey, could I take this off? I do not have any objections myself. But I understand that exposing the underlying frame would be considered offensive to public decency. Really, you think? Well, that's probably not an issue. Wait, Asto, you can't do that. You can't just take her clothes off out here. Huh? But Cosmos said she didn't mind. No means no. Now I think we've spent enough time dawdling out here. Let's hurry along and meet Emperor Nile. Ch you know fun. One moment, please. That blade will have to wait outside. Are you referring to me? Yes, you. But Cosmos is a member of our team. That blade is far too dangerous. She cannot be allowed to have an audience with His Majesty. Seems unnecessary to me. Please stand down. Emperor Nile. But if I may, Your Majesty, this blade is just responsible for that is quite outright. We would not have we would have suffered far greater damage if it were not for her efforts. Besides which, her driver is more than worthy of our trust. There's no cause for concern. Now please, leave her be. As you wish, Your Majesty. I apologize for all that. I feel the business you bring from King Yellow Jimenez <laughs> may have something to do with the recent artificial blade attack. Can you explain what you know? I see. Artificial blades going berserk. I presume that includes the artificial blades that attacked us just now? Yes, they appear to have lost the capacity to take orders and gone berserk, just like those we saw before. Right now, the Titans of Mordain, Tanto, and Uriah are all gathered around the World Tree. 
There's a real danger that the artificial blades Torna released upon the tree could attack those, these nearby nations. Hmm. I think I understand the situation now. We may have been lucky enough to avoid any major damage so far, but this is not a threat we can simply ignore. We'll work with Tanto and Uriah to find a solution to this problem. Thank you for your understanding. No need to thank me. Compared to the efforts you have put in, I've done precious little. The least I can do is take care of this situation while you focus on the tasks you must attend to. Yes, Your Majesty. In that case, we'll take our leave. Hey, big bro. What is it? You're all done with your job here now, right? I guess so. We reported what we came here to report. Take me to Lana Mortha, then. Not a chance. Why not? You're free to go where you want now, right? Like hell, we're going to take you to a dangerous place like that. I thought you already gave up on the idea if my old man told you no anyway. Gave up is such a strong word. I asked him to let me travel all of Allrest, and he said yes to that. So naturally, that means I can go to Lana Mortha now, right? Technically, that's below all rest. <laughs> Some pretty strained logic. You're pretty cunning for such a little lass. Very promising young mind. Come on, you know you want to. Take me to Land Mortha. I ain't budging. You can come up with all those silly loopholes you like, but no, still means but no, still means no. Ugh, you're so useless. You stubborn, prodigal old man. Prodigal old? That's pretty rich coming from the likes of you. Why do you want to go to the Mortha so bad anyway? It's not exactly what I'd call a fun place to visit. You just don't, didn't appreciate it properly. Just to glimpse its landscape would be a mercilessly valuable experience, immensely even. Besides, it's a treasure trove of potential discoveries. So many things you'd never find anywhere else. Initially, I just wanted to see the place, but as it turns out, something I really want to find there. You, uh, you don't understand what you're talking about. The place is crawling with dangerous monsters, you realize that. You're a kid without even a blade to defend yourself. They'd gobble you up at two seconds flat. How are you planning to search for anything in a place like that? Then send Cosmos to protect me. Wait, is this going to be a Merc mission? With her around, I'd be totally safe, wouldn't I? Where do you get off de demanding stuff like that? The king told you to protect me, didn't he? Sure, but he didn't tell us to indulge your crazy fan ideas. I'm going whether you like it or not. You can't stop me, Uncle. Not happening. End of story. Hey, what do you think, Cosmos? You'll come with me, won't you? I obey with whatever orders I'm given. See, Cosmos says she doesn't mind. However, my first duty is to protect my master. Protecting you would, unnece would necessarily be a lower priority task. Is that acceptable? <laughs> huh? There, you see. You're not Cosmos' driver, so you don't get to drag her around wherever. Now quit being a stubborn little brat and hurry on home to Tanto. You're wrong, alright. I may not be her driver, but Cosmos is my friend. Cosmos will protect me. I know she will. Give it a rest already. Watching two children fight. Listen, Zeke, there's no point standing around arguing. It seems pretty clear that Asto isn't going to back down anytime soon. Why don't we just give her a quick look at the land Mortha and then bring her straight back? Seriously? can't drag you guys all the way down there just to indulge the whims of some stubborn little girl. It's not so much trouble. We owe his majesty a favor anyway. But still, things look even the slightest bit dangerous. We're taking you straight out of there. Got that? Sounds fine by me. Shall we get going then, Cosmos? Hmm. They seem to be having fun. Yeah. Looking at them now, they almost seem like a great team. No, it's not this one either. Oh, where is it? I was so sure I'd find it here. Estelle, are you looking for something? Huh? Oh, uh, um... If you tell me what your objective is, I can scan the surrounding area for it. This will markedly increase the likelihood of success. I'm sure that's true, but I need to keep this secret. I promise to tell you afterwards, though. Understood. Ah! There it is! Cosmos! Look! Look! Beware! Estelle! Look it! Cosmos? 
Are you unhurt? Hey, you need to be a bit more careful, Cosmos. What if you'd have hurt yourself? It's okay. Please do not worry about me. And, more urgently, please conceal yourself behind me for a moment. I will take care of this swiftly. You'd better not get hurt, Cosmos! But you'd better not lose, either! Incompatible orders received, but orders acknowledged. Adjusting priority order of Prime Directives. Prioritizing orders from Estelle. Dora! Cosmos, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm quite alright. Are you unhurt, Estelle? Yeah, I'm fine. Not a scratch on me, thanks to you. That is a relief to hear. Um, Cosmos, I'm sorry. It's all my fault that you got dragged into this mess. I didn't mean for this to happen. There's no need for concern. Protecting you is what I'm here for. But, so you get it now? When you act selfish, people not just... You're not just endangering yourself. People who care about you could get hurt, too. Maybe you'll think twice before demanding to come to a place like this again. Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. No need for that. You've already been through enough here. As long as you understand, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah, did you find the, what you were looking for in the end? Uh-huh. Look, I have it right here. Is, that, is this some kind of machine part? Yeah. Listen, Cosmos. When we get back to Tantel, there's one more thing I'd like you to do. Would you be okay with that? You're still not done making demands? That's not it. There's something I want to give Cosmos. So, Cosmos, I'd like you to come to my room. I promise, it won't cause any more trouble. So, please? What do you think, Zeke? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Really? Thanks, big bro. That's where you really pick up you pick your times to act all cutie. Cutesy. Are you fine with this too, Cosmos? Yes, I see no problem. Let's head back on back to Tanto. My room's in the hall of reception. I'll see you there. Welcome to my room. Well, I don't actually live here as such. Just where I'm staying while I'm here in Theos Theoscalgia. Isn't this some kind of storeroom? It doesn't need to be fancy. A dingy old place like this is perfect for my experiments. Dingy, she says. Now, Cosmos. You just wait there a moment while I get everything ready. See you with us, Del. Just need to put, on, put the finishing touches on. Sorry for the wait, Cosmos. This is what I wanted to give you. It's a present. This is for me? Listen, while I was observing you, I noticed you didn't always have perfect control of your power. It can't be easy to keep powers that strong under control all the time. But if you use this device, it should be much, much easier to manage. You, you'll be able to fight without worrying about keeping yourself in check all the time. I think it'll be really useful. Estelle. Listen, Cosmos. Abilities as powerful your, as yours have a very, dan or a dangerous, very dangerous thing to have. But I think you're probably, you probably have them for a reason. The world needs that kind of strength right now. King Yellowjiminus and Emperor Nile both seem to think it's fine as long as your driver keeps you in check. But who wants to rely on a driver for everything, right? If you master use of your own powers, you can even be become the ultimate blade. Maybe even save Alrest. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I'm sure your friend... I, and I'm your best friend, so I should know. <laughs> when do we become best friends? You just keep supporting these guys on their mission. Okay, Cosmos? I have a feeling if you help Rex and Nia and Morag, my uncle, you'll be able to save all of Alrest someday. Understood. Are you sure it is not it is all right for me to accept this for nothing though? You two are good friends now, yeah? And you should accept her gift. Thank you, Estelle. I promise to make good use of it. Thanks. Come by and visit any time, okay? I promise that I will visit. We are friends after all. Best friends, you mean. System functions expanded. Analyzing data. B-grade item detected. Analyzing data. A-grade item detected. Thank you, Master.
analysis systems upgraded. View here, pretty amazing. I would never have dreamed a day would come when I could gaze down upon all of Allrest. Though I must confess, the sheer height sets my fur on end somewhat. Master, tell me, what do you feel standing here? Well, the first step would be to launch a satellite into orbit above Alrest. Yes, yes! Once the satellite reaches geostationary orbit, it lowers a cable towards Alrest. Next, it extends a weighted cable in the opposite direction. Intriguing. By alternately extending the two, eventually the downward cable will reach the surface. Next, a device can be attached to this cable to carry materials to the satellite. Yes! Yes! And by gradually expanding the scale of the structure, the World Tree begins to take shape. Taurus sort of see what Cosmos mean, but mostly sound like nonsense. Yes. I'm afraid I could barely comprehend it at all. Listen, Cosmos, how do you even know about this stuff? That? I don't know myself. Cosmos not know? Correct. This data exists independently from my ordinary memories. It does not seem to be lost, even when I return to my core crystal. Just as we blades remember our names when we are newly awakened, this information has always been with me. As such, I cannot say who implanted this information into me, or for what purpose. I guess there's some stuff even you don't know. Indeed. Perhaps that is my purpose here. To seek the answers I do not have. Kind of weird to be having a hard heart up here while seeing the world being destroyed. Analysis systems upgraded. Well, I guess now is time to fill in more of her affinity charts. Not necessarily going for all of it, just all the annoying parts that require me to go out of my way for them. Battle systems upgraded. Support systems upgraded. Full admin rights granted. Rather impressive. And there we go. It's been King Zombies. I'll see you guys next time when we do the last DLC quest and whatever else. And just kind of run around all rest and finish things up. I'll see you guys then.